More Santa Cruz County businesses must stop indoor operations at midnight after being on the monitoring list for three days. The state now says they must roll back and restrict and have more restrictive measures rather. Good evening everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Veronica Macias. The state says the following now needs to stop operating indoors. Gyms, places of worship, offices of non-critical sectors, personal care services, hair salons, and indoor malls. And that also includes Capitola Mall. Workers inside the shop and business leaders in the area say they are left in the dark until a reopening date is set for them. And our KION's Jocelyn Ortega joining us now live at Capitola Mall tonight where she talked to some business owners who are preparing for this latest round of closures. Veronica, some of the workers that I spoke with today say they're worried that they might be out of a job again, especially because, excuse me, they just opened up business a few weeks ago and now they're worried about how they're going to make a living. Business was pretty slow today at the Capitola Mall. Aside from a few customers coming in and out, the only people present were some business owners and employees who were already closing up shop for the day. What some customers here did not know was that these stores would remain closed indefinitely. It's too bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's unfortunate we've had such a rough summer because of the COVID. For people that are doing like dining or like, you know, bartending or sales like that, they're going to most definitely take a hit. We spoke with a member of the County Chamber of Commerce who said this move would likely have a negative impact on the city. A huge revenue enhancer for the city of Capitola and the county. It's the largest mall and facility in the region. So it will have an impact. Store owners and employees say their biggest concern is not knowing if this means they will lose their jobs. Workers at some of the stores with entrances on the outside of the mall say they will continue their curbside services. Still, indoor businesses may not have that option. The large anchor stores, the Target and, and, and the Macy's are going to be directly impacted. And how is that going to uh, impact the smaller businesses that are inside the mall? The traffic is going to just disappear. As far as furloughs or layoffs, the workers here said they have not received word on whether they will have to start letting employees go or not. But most shop owners said this is a possibility. Most of the business owners here say they were not prepared with a plan for these closures, but they will follow the guidelines and say they will seek the option to move outdoors. In the meantime, the workers here say they will try to hold on as long as they can until a reopen date is set. Veronica.